quick and super thrifty soup in the pressure cooker. You can't get much easier than this. Five onions, all cut into eighths, right in the pressure cooker. None of this stuff was prep intensive. Potatoes, just peeled them, didn't cut them up. I don't want them to break down in there, so I'm leaving them whole. And also, I don't really want to prep very much because, uh, you know, I'm thrifty and I want to cut down on my time. A couple of nice sausages. One's a bratwurst. The other one is called a Texas flavored, whatever that means. They're both pork sausages, large. Three cloves of garlic, didn't cut them. Everything's going in. Three bay leaf. And we, then we have a half of an organic head of uh, red cabbage. I've cut it into two inch square pieces. Just hacked it up quickly. And I'm going to top it up with water. You could use chicken stock, but there's a lot of flavor in this already. And so I suggest just, just using water. It's going to be fine. I am going to put in some wine though. Uh, this is an inexpensive Malbec from Argentina. The bottle is seven bucks. So this whole meal, you know, the sausages are probably in and around 80 cents each. And uh, with everything else, I'm only going to use about a cup of this red wine. Those are the two most expensive ingredients in the dish. And so we're going to be uh, less than $5 for this. And you're going to see the yield when it's all said and done. You get quite a bit of soup. You know, you could easily feed your entire family with this for lunch or dinner. You know, if you had a a loaf of nice yeast-free bread, it's definitely a meal. So watch how much wine I put in. And I want you to pay very close attention to the ratios in all of my uh, thrifty cooking videos. The ratios are crucial. Recipes are sort of treacherous, to be honest. You don't want to have to get too... Uh, uh, dependent on recipes. You want to pay more close attention to the ratios and uh, get a feel for the techniques. Those are black peppercorns and I also put some salt and now you see I'm topping it up with water. As I was saying, pay very close attention to the to the details, the techniques and also the ratios. I haven't covered this in water. You'll notice the water is just below the top of the cabbage because the cabbage is going to cook down it's going to shrink as it wilts underneath the extreme heat uh, within this pressure cooker. Pressure cooker's on. I'm cranking it up to full heat like I do everything in the pressure cooker. And then once it begins to uh, release its steam, as you can see, see right there, then I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But this dish is going to be done in about 15 minutes. So the prep time, I mean, what we do, we peeled three potatoes and... Uh, four onions, cut them. You know, this is le less than five minutes, even for beginners. If you put your head down and just do it, prep time's less than five minutes. Cooking time, voila, here you have it. Cooking time was about 18 minutes. So uh, we're done. I mean, we didn't spend very much time on this at all. It's inexpensive. It's quick to prepare. It's totally thrifty. Plating it up, nothing fancy. I've just presented it in the bowl here and uh, topped it with some green onions just to give it some fresh vegetables which offer more nutrition. So quick and easy, enjoy this thrifty cooking solution.